So you guys have had some time now to play with punch block number one and punch block number two. Let's take now punch block number three. So I have my partner inside of the guard. I've already worked my way into punch block number one. Remember our grips here or here. We don't want to stick it all the way in here. Now, he can't punch my face, so he starts to punch my body. All right, I fill the space. I fill the space. He's in punch block two. Now, we said he has three general categories of action. He could press into me, in which case I'm going to reset him back to punch block one. He could hang out here in confusion, in which case he's going to get submitted or sweat. Or he could create space by moving backwards a little bit, in which case I might need a punch if I don't know how to block it. So, as he's backing up, I'm going to extend my knees up into his chest, and I'm lifting my butt off the floor. All right, I'm lifting my hips up. I'm creating a very long reach with my torso. All right, generally speaking, my torso is going to be longer than, than the reach of his punches. My hands are up. I'm kind of coning, all right, like, a, like blocking like a boxer would. I'm coning here. All right, I'm keeping a stiff body, nice and locked in him. So now if he's trying to punch, he's at a long distance. All right, really, I could drop my hands. He, he can't reach me, but I'm not going to take a chance like that. That would be foolish. So I'm just keeping up. Now that I'm protected, again, he falls into the same three categories. He could back away, which we'll cover in a different video. He could hang out in confusion, which we'll cover you know, in, in future videos of submission. Or he could start to push and drive on me, putting himself on that trap door. Now, as he does, I'm just going to open my knees, extend my legs, catch his head, and ramp that punch just like we did in punch block one, bringing him back to the series, back to the start of the series. Okay? So he starts to try to punch my face. It's not working. He starts to punch my body. I fill the space up. He can't get me. He decides to back away a little bit. I fill the space, but my butt comes off the floor. My knees are up. I'm dropping my head back, and I'm keeping my cones up, all right? Just in case he has long arms and something slips through. Now I start to feel that pressure on the trap door. I open my knees, guide him in. Look at how I ramp that punch, just like we did at the beginning of the series. Knees to my chest. Clamping on, clamping on, and he's reset right back to punch block one. So one more time, he's trying to punch me in the face, can't get me. He starts to work my body, he starts to straighten up, fill the space, high knees pointed into his chest. Guys, make sure you're squeezing your knees together here. I'm not like this, where he could come down the middle on me. I'm squeezing my knees tight together here, keeping them right in his chest. My butt is off the floor, it's not here sagging. All right, I'm going to be eating punches, driving my knees up, butt off the floor, coning. All right, now, as he's trying to hit me, I'm safe. Now I feel him setting himself on my trap door, drop the trap door, reset him back to punch block one, and now I'm safe. All right, add punch block three into your practice. Practice it just like that. One, two, three, reset. One, two, three, reset. You and your partner take turns and have fun with it. We'll see everybody back in the next video for punch block four.